Hey, you down here? Okay, uh, back again. I'm not gonna do a live stream on this. Uh, I got my motor for my washer, and I uh, was, I probably won't do a video on the install. There's plenty of videos on how to install them. I need to get it put in. So I um, thought I'd show it though as I get it open and everything. It's got the uh, pigtail that comes with it, con connector for the motor, and these pigtails, they go to the original wiring, and these are male connectors. And I like that they're clear. You can see what you're doing to plug them up, but it's actually pretty simple. You just, these are color-coded to match the color coding on the original Maytag. Worcester's mine's on the A512 model. And uh, let me get my scissors. <clears throat> but I thought I'd show the motor, you know, before as it came in the it's in another box here i guess we can get it out of this second box oh i see they got it in a box and then oh i see it's wrapping okay let's get it out of the box then and I got this one on Amazon for $104, and then a day or two later, it was already up to $100. Well, this was on the New Year's Eve or New Year's Day when we ordered it. I think it was New Year's Eve. And uh, they were having big sales, you know, end of the year sales and all that. And uh, it was $139 the next day. And the uh, other places like parts, plants, places and stuff were $150. Uh, I think it was plus, yeah, plus shipping. This was free shipping. I think there was tax on it. But yeah, this is where you plug it in. Let's see. Should be so that you can't plug it in wrong. Looks like it would go that way. It looks like it could go either way, actually. Oh, let's see. Can tell by all the wiring, yeah. Pretty much, it's not exactly the same though. <laughs> can you do it wrong? That's what I'm wondering. Usually they have these things to where you can't do it wrong. Okay, that goes that way. It'd be really bad if you did it wrong. You can do it wrong. Hmm. Yeah, in the videos they didn't mention anything about being careful about which way you put it on there, but it looks like it would go either way. I don't want to go all the way down, then you have to... Oh, you just match those with your fingers. Yeah, they don't match up to the wires coming out of the other side, so there's some some uh, switching going on in there. That may be the new motor switch. Uh, the, big, the motor switch on the old motor is real big. But... Uh, Oh, okay, let's see. Yeah, there's a pin here. See, there's no pins in between. I don't know if the video can show that, but probably not. But there's pins here, one here, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then there's not a pin down there. So you're going to want to put it on. I'm, well, yeah, just common sense will tell you. You're going to want to put it on. There's a wire there. One, one, two, three, four. Actually, one, two, three, four. There's five pins, but there's one, two, three, four wires. And this must be multi-purpose. So yeah, it looks like it would go that way. Maybe I'll go look on the last video. I saw. Whoops. Yeah, there it goes. It clips. Now it's on there. I think I will wait and put it on later. Aft, you know, not right now. Because I don't want it dangling when I'm putting it on. But yeah, okay. I'm glad I looked at it. It's easier to see up on the table than it would have been out, out there. Okay, so it looks, you know, I mean, of course, it's the same basic design as the original. Got some goop on it. Uh, but, oh, I didn't think it was going to look like the OEM motor because the picture, I guess the picture I saw was... Uh, Oh, made in Mexico. So, well, you know, I read somewhere that uh, Whirlpool, which bought Maytag and 10 or 15 years ago, I 
or red, um, was making stuff in Mexico, and they were saying that, well, of course, it wasn't made as good as it used to be. Nothing's made as good as it used to be. This is around an, an, an 80s washer, so I think maybe an 84 or somewhere around in there when it was made, manufactured. That's why it's still working, and we've only had to add a few. This would be the first major thing we've ever had to add to it. Half horsepower, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 7.4 amps, 1725 RPM, 40 degrees C max, A and B ambient temperature, which I don't know what 40 degrees C is. They used to use Fahrenheit on our American stuff, but this ain't exactly American anymore. The Mexico, they use Fahrenheit in inches and everything. I've noticed that when you see videos, like how two videos by the guys down there. Uh, and it's T class B thermally. Protected L20180, manufactured date D18F. Okay, well, I guess that's 2018. Patent, appliancemotor.com, assembled in Mexico. Assembled in Mexico, so the components are probably made overseas just like everything else, and they just assemble it there. <laughs> that's a, like when they say, uh, some people try to fudge and say made in America when it's really just assembled in America these days. I don't know what that is. It's not very tight, that's for sure. I don't guess it will really hurt anything, but you can really move that. So there's a view of it from the top. So that's, I guess that's the switch now. A lot smaller, which, you know, things are generally are smaller now than they were back in the 80s. Careful, don't damage that thing. So, uh-oh. Uh, it's probably my something I'm gonna have to go answer. All right, gotta go.